Hi guys, we have received so many questions from you regarding sexually transmitted diseases and we have decided to make a whole new video answering all your questions and we have invited uh, Dr. Neelima who is a consultant pathologist at Humane Health. So let's just jump into the first question. The most searched question, most asked question from all of you is how would I know if I had an STD? So Dr. Neelima, can you please answer that? Some of the STDs do have symptoms, but many do not, and they don't show up for a very long time. But infections like herpes, chlamydia, and gonorrhea can be spread even in the absence of these symptoms. That said, we should look for symptoms that can raise some uh, questions, like uh, itching, burning during urination or when you pee, and pus-like discharge at the tip of the penis or vagina or the rectum. Even if a person doesn't think that he might have a STD, but they should get tested if they are sexually active. So the second most frequently asked question was, uh, can a STD kill me? STDs don't necessarily kill a person immediately, but then they are known to weaken the immune system and makes the person very vulnerable to infections. So even having the slightest of the common cold or a fever can be a prolonged suffering for that person. And pelvic inflammatory disease is a complication of gonorrhea, which is also a sexually transmitted disease and can leave a woman unable to bear children. So this is, these are the most common complications, but they don't necessarily kill a person immediately. How soon do STDs show up? In males, symptoms can appear as early as two days to seven days, but then they can be as delayed as 30 days also. So there are some diseases like gonorrhea, they do not have any symptoms and at that time also it can be spread. So in case if anybody has a doubt that they have been exposed to gonorrhea, it is better that they get them themselves tested immediately. Okay, coming to symptoms, uh, what do uh, STDs generally look like? What are the symptoms that one can face? In men, the sim symptoms are usually uh, painful urination or pus-like discharge at the tip of the penis or at the rectum and uh, pain or swelling in one of the testicles. In women, the symptoms are usually similar like painful urination but then these pe uh, women can also have vaginal bleeding between periods like after a vaginal intercourse they can also have painful intercourse or they can have abdominal pain also so these are usually the common symptoms and these are the symptoms which should raise a question for the sexually active people to get themselves tested can stis affect a person's fertility stds if untreated can definitely affect fertility there are complications like pelvic inflammatory diseases of infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea that affect the women's fertility and can cause problems in her conceiving or even create problems during a pregnancy also. So these are the complications that people should keep in mind okay, and go further from there. Okay. So um, is it possible that a person can get STDs even from a virgin? If somebody says they are a virgin, it doesn't really mean that they are and also it doesn't mean that they wouldn't be having an STD because STDs can be passed from a mother to an unborn child also. Okay. So other things is only genital to genital contact is not the only way that STDs can be transmitted. Having unprotected oral sex can also lead to STDs. So it is advisable that during oral sex, condoms or dental dams, dental dams which are latex sheets which can be used between the mouth and the anus or the vagina during an oral sex be used. In case these are not used, then definitely either partner is at a definite risk for an STD. Okay. So uh, I wanted to know if an STD can be cured. So there are lots of studies that are going on and it's a most common topic of research and there are lots of studies that are trying to find a cure for STDs. However, bacterial STDs can be treated if antibiotic treatment is started on time. Unfortunately, viral STDs like HIV, herpes, uh, human papilloma viruses 
these do not really have a treatment as of now but still the symptoms can be managed with medications this is a very interesting question that we received can a person get an std from a toilet seat or by kissing it is incredibly unlikely to get an std from a toilet seat from a skin to toilet contact because these pathogens are not equipped to survive on these smooth slippery surfaces like a toilet seat also kissing and sharing food shaking hands these are unlikely to sp uh, spread stds so it's like st stop hovering and peeing all over the toilet seats it's a myth and please get over it you spoke about the importance of getting tested for an std or an sti can you please tell me what are the tests that one should take there are various tests that can be used to detect stds like ELISA and nucleic acid amplification test for HIV, herpes, chlamydia, gonorrhea and there are two kinds of tests for syphilis they are the non-treponemal and treponemal tests like VDRL and RPR and FTA ABS also for women a pap smear is recommended to test for human papilloma virus there is a test called TORCH which includes toxoplasmosis, cytomegalovirus, rubella, herpes simplex virus and HIV and this is a newborn screening test so this tests for all these diseases and these tests are basically ordered by a practicing clinician so only after they prescribe you for these tests you should get tested for them thank you dr neelima this was a very informative session i am sure all of you would have benefited immensely from this video if you have any questions regarding sexually transmitted diseases do type it in the comments below or write to us at care@humanehealth.com and we will definitely answer all your questions if you have any concerns regarding stds or any other health related issues please do visit your nearest humane health center where our experienced doctors can assess your condition and do subscribe to Humane Health's YouTube channel for more health related videos.